Good morning everyone! So today is now Monday, it is the fresh start to the week. So this morning I am off to get a blood test. So um, the doctor's just written me down for a whole bunch of things, I've been fasting for that. No liquid, so no water, no food, and I'm gonna go get that soon. So the time is about 8 o'clock. I have been up since 5.30. I like love the mornings, I'm such a morning person, so I'm like always in a great mood. I'm all ready for that now. I've done my hair, my makeup, and my outfit, which I will show you in a second. So I'm gonna head there, get my blood test, and I'm gonna go buy a hand mixer, you know, like electric mixer. Also a waffle maker for keto jackals or cheese waffles or something, I don't know how you say it. And, and also gonna go do some meal prep shopping, and then I'm gonna be cooking some meal preps with Kate, which is James's friend from work. I've stolen his friend. Whoopsie. So without further ado, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. So here is the outfit that I am wearing. So the skirt is from Bardo and the top is from General Pants. Friday night and I'm riding solo. We are not off to a very good start. I'm such an idiot. I left the blood like form inside so I had to go back and get it. What an idiot. <laughs> Does anyone else just like dodge the sun when they're driving? It's literally the story of my life. It just it's like burns me. Pale skin problems. Time to get my blood test. Hopefully I shouldn't be here for too long, but it did say that everyone comes in the morning to get their blood test. So it's 8.30 now. Fingers crossed I'm out of here in like 15 minutes, but we'll see. Boys at the doctors, you take so long, but I'm hoping for like a blood test and things. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. We'll see, let's go. Just finished up with my blood test. The time is 8.49. So I was out of there in like 15, 20 minutes. It wasn't looking promising because when I first got there, I was like number four on the thing. And I was like, uh oh, I'm gonna have to be here for ages. And I was waiting, waiting, waiting for like 15. And then she took me in and it took like three minutes. The lady was so nice. And yeah, it didn't hurt too much. I got it in this arm. I always get it in my left because I'm like dominantly right. So now I'm gonna head off to the shops and I'm gonna have a look like a waffle maker. And the timing's actually perfect because most of the full shops don't open till nine anyway so i think i'm gonna hit up kmart first and then probably go around clothes shopping naughty but you know what spoil yourself and then i think i'm gonna go into Woolworths after that but knowing me i probably won't even get anything from the clothes shops because i always try stuff on and it just does not look good and then i'm like nah not getting it let's go we were staying in paris okay so i think this is what i want I don't know how to work it, but hmm. Obviously, it's only cheap, but that's all I need. So where is it? So currently in Kmart, I have found the waffle maker that I want, but all the pie makers are in front of the waffle maker, so I think I'm gonna have to ask someone where they are. I think it's because they have them. If not, what a bummer. So yeah, I'll let you guys see. The lighting in all of these shops is terrible, but I'm just trying on some pants. These ones are $20 for the quality, not that great, but they look kind of cool and they're very comfortable. So I've taken some pictures and I'm gonna think about it. So currently I am in the Valley Girl. The next pair is a flat out no. These are not flattering at all. They go like wide on the hips. And then look at the bum, it's like a nappy. I'm on the hunt for some really nice comfy black pants. So the other ones were a winner, but I don't really want to pay $20. And these ones were just an outright fail. So it's a no from me, on to the next store. So many clothes to try on. Fingers crossed some of these look good. Let's go. So just try these shorts on. I feel like they look nice, but they're a bit too short for me. If only they came down about there. Like they're good length at the back. My arm's like, eh. Like they have nice coverage. But just at the front, I feel like they're so short. Otherwise, I like the rips and everything. I just wish they were so much longer. Damn it, on to the next. Here we have the next skirt on. I actually quite like it. I just feel like it sits a bit weird. Otherwise, that's what it looks like on. I think the pattern's nice and cute as well. Look my stuff just smashed down the bottom. But yeah, I think that's kind of cute. Okay, here we have the next skirt. I feel like I really like this, although it is slightly a little bit big. So I think I'm gonna ask for the next size down. But how cute is that, like with her summer outfit? Very similar pattern to this one here. But I think I kind of like this better. How cute would this be with like a white shirt like this? I actually like this, so you can wear it with or without this. Yeah. But I kind of like it with that. It is nice. Nice I feel like it just goes out of the side, and that is just not my body shape at all. It's more like that. 
So this is a no, it doesn't do anything for me. I really want one of these skirts to work for me, but this one, no. Like it looks okay when I'm like this, but just like sitting straight, that is not a good shape. Looking literally like a pumpkin, but I think I kind of like these pants. They're super comfortable. I think it'll just depend on the price and they have pockets, which is awesome. Love that. I'm gonna get these and they're on sale, $15. So for me, I was shopping at Ali and Valley Girl. So I'm here to update you. It is now the next day. I'm just going to be continuing on with my makeup. So I'm just going to use this Sigma brow powder to fill in my brows. And unfortunately, they've discontinued this. I'm like, what the heck? So now I'm on the hunt for a new brow powder. But lucky I've got like three different backups. I've tried a couple of things, but nothing has compared so far. So the hunt is on. <laughs> Jumping straight back on track, I ended up buying about five things from Ali. I spent $95, which, you know, is like average. I haven't spent um, a whole lot of money on clothes in a while, so it was more like a treat to myself, which I was super stoked about. You know what? You need to give yourself some self-love sometimes. Next week, I go out and spend like 10 grand on myself, and I'm like, self-love. <laughs> Also, Kmart was sold out of the waffle makers and then I asked the lady if she could look up like stores in my area to see if they had any stock and she said they've either got none or like negative stock and I was like, Jesus, everyone in my bloody neighborhood must be having waffles. Like how can everywhere in like the town or even like close to the town that I live in be sold out of waffle makers? Unless it's like a whole company wide thing that is so random, like maybe just everyone that's doing keto or people just love waffles. I don't know. Weird. But then I also went into um, Target and they didn't have any hand electric mixers, which I was looking for as well. And they didn't have any waffle makers. I was like, what's going on? Like everyone is having like beaten desserts and waffles and things. Like what? So then I ended up just getting an electric mixer from Big W. It was like $15, so fingers crossed it just does the trick. I just need it. Nothing fancy. And I guess the waffle maker will have to wait, right? I've been doing this new thing, always wearing eyeliner now. So maybe it's my new trademark. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is maybe film like an everyday makeup routine with my new makeup that I've been doing because it's been like a whole lot of like matte on the eyes and eyeliner, which was never me. I was always like... Very minimal, very glowy, like very pink soft eyes, but now I like quite a bit of depth there. For my lips, I'm going to add a little bit of the Kylie Cosmetics Posy K. Oh, it's like shed on my lips. Love that. So tonight, I am just getting ready to go to my sister's house. So we're going to play some board games and then we're also going to have some dinner as well. So I think she's putting cook cooking. I think she is cooking something keto, which is lovely. And then I've baked some keto choc chip uh, cookies to take for dessert. I had a little taste test of it, and it seems like this recipe is a little bit drier than the other ones that I've tried. But oh, I was still willing to give it a go. I always feel like when I do my eyes, I always need something like a little bit deeper on my lips. I think that is like the sort of nude that I go for, a little bit deeper. And then I'm seeing James after, so that should be good. I went to the beach today. Um, just wrote some like things down in my diary. I think writing down in a diary and like looking back on things is awesome. Like the last time I've written in it was from like Feb, no March. And that was like seven months ago. Like this year is literally flying by. Like that is crazy. Now for lipstick, I'm going to go in with Fox from MAC or Foro, however you say it. This has been my go-to recently. I like the depth from the lip liner, but the little pinkness from that as well. So another little update, I've been mystery shopping, so I'm thinking about making like a bigger video on it once I get my paycheck to check everything's all good and then I'll share my experiences with you. So I think it's pretty cool just to make a little bit of extra money on the side working from Mecca. So yeah, it should be a crazy Christmas period and then hopefully in the new year I am going to go across Australia and do a little bit of travelling. Might be with James, might be by myself, who knows. So stay tuned for that, of course I will bring you guys along and vlog it. I also have a trip to Queensland at the end of November like the first week of December so that's super exciting it is for James's 21st birthday so he's got about 15 of us going so it's gonna be a huge trip it's gonna be so much fun and of course I will bring the camera along and capture all of the moments <laughs> that is all of the update from me at the moment I hope that you guys are doing really well and I will see you in my next vlog bye <laughs> Who could even make these work?
if they were like more fitted like that and didn't make you look like you were wearing a bloody nappy. <laughs> I was feeling the winged eyeliner today. I made a little error, but you know what? No one can tell. <laughs> What's on next? We believe now.